Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Nick Bakken here, and uh, you know, I just uh, enjoying this beautiful evening, and, and it's been 75, 78 this week, which has been weekend, which has been awesome. Kids have been outside; they're tired. They're, everybody is just having a great time. So, I wanted to share a little something with you that happened to basically my family on Friday, and I, and then it has it. It's kind of changed us a, a, a little bit. Um, a little back, a little backstory. We'll rewind a little bit. A couple weeks ago, my wife and I had talked about, you know, going back to church and and getting God back in our life and doing stuff like that. And you know, if you don't believe in that kind of stuff, that's fine. You know, you, know, you can stop the video now. But you, you might like this story. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, but Friday, Friday morning, we wake up. You know, normal thing. Kids come in and uh, wake us up. Six thirty, seven o'clock. You know, they're ready to rock and roll. So I get up and we're doing stuff and they want to go outside and play. It's supposed to be super nice. It's like 60 degrees out already at 8 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, they want to do this. They see the sun out and they're ready to rock. So I'm like, all right, you know, let's let's go outside. Let's do let's do this. And my wife's like, well, what are we going to do? I want to clean the house and get things ready. And, you know, I want to, I want to straighten things up and do that. So I'm like, hey, listen, you know, we've kind of been cooped up in the house for the last, you know, week and a half. It's been snowy sleety 30 degrees last weekend i mean it's you wouldn't even believe it that it's 78 right now it's 38 degrees last saturday but it was so i'm like why don't why don't we just enjoy the day you know take the day recharge our batteries get some some sun and do what we need to do so she, she's like yeah that sounds like a good idea sounds like a real good idea so we end up going in the backwoods behind us. They got some trails back there that we like to walk on with the kids and they just, you know, it just recharges us. You know, you're getting, you get in tune with nature and everything's, you know, wind's blowing, trees are moving, grass is moving. It's just, it's awesome. So we end up taking a trail that leads us down to the main road and usually we turn around. We've never, never, ever have we ever gone out to the main road. But something today was like, hey, why don't we go out to the main road and then head down the road and turn back into the subdivision. So we do that. And as we get there, a car drives by. There's, you know, an older lady in the car and a couple younger kids in the back. And we wave like we always do. And, you know, everybody waves. And we walking down the road headed towards the subdivision. Lo and behold, this car turns around. Comes back. And the, the, the back window rolls down. And there's a young man in the back seat. And he asks, you know, I, I noticed you guys, you waved, you looked really nice. You know, would you, would you be against us, you know, saying a prayer for you? And I'm like, no, not at all. You know, we, like I said, my wife and I just had this conversation about getting back into it and getting, you know, going back to church and getting God back in our lives again. So we, we pull, they pull up into the cul-de-sac or the subdivision where I live and they stop and they all get out and there's an older lady probably a middle-aged lady and then two younger two younger gentlemen you know and we start talking and you know they're like you know we'd like to you know we'd like to say a prayer for you is that something you would be you know okay with and you know that's when I started to feel my emotions and everything because he's you know they said is there anybody like you, you want to say a prayer about or is there anything and my grandmother is having a rough time now, so I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You know, my grandmother, she's battling a lot of things right now, and, you know, that would be the number one thing. And, you know, I started a, this new business, so I'm like, well, maybe you could help me, you know, pray for some success and everything like that. So we ended up probably talking to them for 15, 20 minutes, you know, just about God and, and, and receiving him. And, and at the end of it, they basically said, you know, do you want to take that next step and, you know, accept them into your hearts and into your lives? And, you know, we did. The whole family did. I mean, we stood on the the corner of our street in a circle and we said a prayer together and we accepted him. And my wife and I, after, after, felt, we honestly felt that burden, a little bit of burden was lifted off because it was just a wonderful moment. We all hugged and... That was the end of it. They got in their cars and they drove away. And I thought about it all day. And I just, I could not stop thinking about it. That it just so happened that we were talking about it. And we went and 
the the opposite way that we always do and we ended up we ended up meeting up with these people and go, and coming across this wonderful moment so just wanted to share it with you guys and uh like i said believe believe in everything believe in that what you think about and what you believe in and what you want to do comes true because obviously you know we had talked about it and it came true we ran into these people we went some way we never gone we ran into them and they helped us understand a little bit and helped us accept the lord so hope you enjoy this share it with whoever you want you know let me know what you think but Remember, just believe, because it always comes true.